Hey there, my name is Andy Robertson with CQE Academy and in today's video we're going to talk about the Plan Do Check Act cycle. Alright, let's head over to the computer. Alright, let's talk about the Plan Do Check Act cycle. So here it is, here's kind of a pictorial reference of the Plan Do Check Act cycle. And before we get into the actual process itself and dive into each of the individual steps, I want to share some basic fundamental truths about the Plan Do Check Act cycle that I think everyone should know. The first is that it is a very simple process for solving problems. As quality engineers or continuous improvement experts, our jobs are to be continuously solving problems. And if you want effective and efficient results and you want to be an expert at solving problems, you should be using a problem-solving process. And that's exactly what Plan Do Check Act is. Now, the Plan Do Check Act cycle, or PDCA, was popularized by a guy named W. Edwards Deming, who gave credit to another guy named Walter Schuhart. So you sometimes hear this called the Deming cycle or the Schuhart cycle. In fact, Schuhart wanted to really emphasize the, the idea of studying your results. So sometimes he called it the Plan Do Study Act cycle. Uh, so you'll hear it called by different names. But in reality, it's really just a reflection of the scientific method. While Deming popularized it and Schuhart really put a name to it, it's really simply the scientific method in action. We start by planning an experiment to test a hypothesis. We execute that experiment. We study the results of that experiment. And then we take whatever information we learn from that experiment and we form new hypotheses or we form a more complex mature hypotheses that we then continue to test and continue to iterate and mature over time. So really this process for solving problems isn't anything new. It's simply just the scientific method. And then last and finally, and I know I've said this already, is that it is iterative in nature. So solving problems should never stop. At the end of your experiment, whatever it is, you should be planning the next experiment. You should be constantly, you know, moving the ball down the field, solving problems, and continuing to use this process to get better and better and really engage in continuous improvement. All right, so now let's jump into the actual process itself. In the planning phase is where we do things like define the problem statement. So before we can solve a problem, it's good to get really crystal clear on what the problem statement is. Is it customer complaints? Is it a yield issue? Is it process capability? Is it process stability? No matter what it is, it's good to align with your team and say, this is the problem we're trying to solve. Now, of course, your problem statement might change as you spin the cycle and as you gain more information, but it's good to start here and say, this is our problem statement. And then maybe the next step is to do a fishbone diagram to identify potential root causes and potential contributing factors that you want to test and you want to experiment to either rule out or confirm. Other things here you can do is review historical data or establish targets. What should the yield be? What should our process capability be? What should our process stability be? These are all good opportunities to talk about what are we really trying to achieve when we solve this problem. And then depending on the scope of your problem, maybe you want to create a project charter that has a timeline and a project team that can help really formalize your efforts. And then lastly, and this is the most important, you want to plan some experiments. So let's say we leave the planning phase with four potential root causes. We should be planning experiments to test those four different potential root causes to either be able to rule them out or confirm them as true root causes. And then the do phase, this is quite simple, right? We want to execute the plan and we want to collect data. And then we can take that data that we collected and it's time to do the analysis. So this is where we can use a lot of these statistical tools like ANOVA analysis, Pareto charts, histograms, scatter plots, hypothesis tests, a lot of these statistical methods and tools that we talk about in quality engineering. This is the time to use those tools to analyze our results. And then we want to compare the observed against the expected. And along the way, we should be comparing the observed results against the expected. So back in the planning phase, when we create a hypothesis, we should talk about what we think the expected outcome is. And if our observed results match the expected results, well then yeah, maybe we're confirming that the root cause that we're testing for is the true root cause. But if the observed results are different, now it's time to have a conversation about why so that we can learn something new. This is the next part. This study phase or this check phase is really when we're supposed to learn something new about our process so that we can make improvements, okay? 
And then I talk about this after action review. So at the conclusion of our experiments in the do phase, we want to talk about things that went well and things that didn't go well. Because eventually we're going to go through this plan, do, check, act cycle again, and we should be using that new information to make a better experiment or a more mature experiment the next time around. And then act. So now it's time to take what you've learned and to put it into action. If you did identify the root cause of your problem, let's implement changes to address the root cause. If we didn't identify the root cause, it's time to talk about the next target condition or the next experiment that we want to run. And then if you didn't identify the true root cause, it's time to talk about the next experiment you want to run. By the way, even if you did identify the root cause, you can continue to get better. So let's say we're talking about process capability. You might improve process capability a little bit, but it could always get better. So it's time to maybe talk about what that next target condition might be. And then the real important piece I want to stress here is in the act phase, or some people call it the adjust phase, it's time to start talking about how we're going to do this all over again. Because no matter what problem you're solving, you can always get better. You can always make your process a little bit better. And that's where we want to keep going through the PDCA cycle. As they say, spin that wheel and keep going through the problem solving process. So that was it. I know it's very simple, but it's a really powerful process for solving problems. All right, that's it for the Plan Do Check Act cycle. If you really liked it, hit that like button down below so that other people just like you can find the same content. And if you loved it and you're interested in becoming a certified quality engineer, hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I create new videos and I can help you on your journey to become a CQE. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.